I started working with video when I was a student at Boston University uh, under Jack Parker. And it was really just something I did to stay around the game of hockey. It wasn't something I thought I'd do beyond college. Um, but the longer I did it, the more I realized how rewarding it could be um, and that there might actually be a way to make a career out of it. Um, and I've been lucky enough to do just that. For sure, being part of the two Stanley Cup teams with the Penguins. Um, when we won in 2016, it was so surreal, and I never really would have imagined that would be able to do it again the next season. Um, and just being able to watch and learn from our coaching staff at the time was pretty special. Mike Sullivan called me and asked me if I wanted to join his staff. Uh, needless to say, I was pretty excited about it. It was an easy answer. And just the chance to represent the United States is something I'm grateful for and don't take for granted. Um, the feeling around the Olympics, the tradition and the history, it's pretty special. And I'm really excited to have a front row seat for it and do anything I can to help our players and our coaches have success. One piece of advice I would give to an up and coming coach, uh, specifically a video coach, is something I actually hear a lot from my head coach, and that's don't confuse activity for accomplishment. Um, and I think that's a valuable lesson when it comes to narrow, narrowing your focus and spending time on things that are going to make the biggest difference. Um, and sometimes that's tough to hear as a video coach. We take a lot of pride in our ability to long, log long hours at the rink, um, but it's certainly something that's stuck with me over the years.